Hi everybody, uh, this video we will see how to uh, establish connection to database server. Um, this step is not required but it's very popular because a lot of applications <coughs> uh, use uh, and uh, require database presence. Um, so as you know um, the main difference uh, in comparison with actually with the local deployment and deployment and Elastic is that uh, application server and uh, database server um, are located not on a, uh, the same uh, host so it's not possible to uh, get a connection established by means of uh, setting a local host string or 127001 uh, uh, IP address. Um, so here is a set of types how to it's possible how to uh, it's, uh, how it's possible to uh, set um, connection to the database. So first of all, this uh, possible to do by means of specifying C name of the database. Uh, it will look like, for example the database type in, in the example of this MySQL then dash environment name dot hoster domain um, also it's possible to <coughs> um, get connection established by means of specifying private IP address uh, private IP address is possible to find opposite uh, to database instance and the same um, if public IP is attached uh, it's also possible to make a connection uh, over public IP. Um, <clears throat> so you see that it's not possible to establish connection from application server to database specifying local host as I told as I told you earlier uh, due to um, different virtual machines where application server and database are located. Um, first of all, what I want to pay attention on this uh, set of documentation. This uh, specific section databases where you can see details how to uh, make connection, uh, make connections to different uh, database types. This is MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, SQL. MongoDB, CoachDB, <coughs> etc. Um, in our example, uh, what I want to show, uh, we'll use a simple and popular PHP based application. This is WordPress, uh, which actually also requires a connection to the database and uh, where it stored some um, data. So we have already created an uh, environment which is called my-wordpress and it, it actually consists of a Apache instance and MySQL as a database. Um, <coughs> first of all we need to um, deploy WordPress application. So WordPress so it's an open source and is located um, at GitHub as well. So we need to go to GitHub, find that application, copy uh, direct link to our application, and do deploy. So this is Git. Here we go. It should take a few more seconds. A few notes. As soon as um, database server uh, is created, you will receive um, credentials, login and password to admin page of the uh, database.
we already did it, did that and got that. It's finished, so we need to actually install our WordPress. This is a standard wizard. So next we need to specify database name, username, password and database host. Um, I know that uh, MySQL server already has a database test, so we'll uh, use that username. Here is the username we got uh, to our email. This is standard for all uh, MySQL instances. And here is a password. So we need to specify root and password. Then, um, parameter database host. Uh, as I told you earlier, it's uh, it's not possible to establish by means of specify local host. So we need to um, specify. Uh, it would be better to specify a C name of our database. For example, if we uh, if we run that in the browser, we also get our uh, C name of our database. So here we go. Then we click on submit. Then run it and install it. Just test. Test. Sorry. So here we go. So that's it. It's working. Thank you.